season five reloaded added a new passive mission that is so good that if you complete it it increases your exfil chopper speed arrival by quite a bit actually but here's the thing when you look at this mission it doesn't tell you a specific time amount right so everyone's wondering is it worth it is it not worth it in today's video i show you a comparison of what a regular exfil looks like and then after you complete this mission what it looks like and let me just spoiler warning this one it's so worth it. it it's it's crazy so i want to show you everything i learned from doing this mission the easiest way that i think for you to go about doing it just just we're going to do it all in all tips and tricks on trying to complete this one while we're loading in here though i do want to say to you hey if you enjoy the content make sure you hit the subscribe button it is free for you guys it does mean the world to me also all this footage got recorded live on twitch.tv slash geeksay where i do stream four days a week tuesday to friday starting at 8 a.m pacific standard time come by hang out and now let's just let me give you the lowdown of how i went about doing this so when I first started trying to do this, I would just bring in 40 to $60,000. I would bring in whatever Vondel keys I had lying around, like the fire department, city hall. And then I would uh, grab a sniper rifle with the SC heat source 800 on it. And also just an AR, like an M4. This wasn't a smart play. Now the guns for sure. Hey, those are, that's a great combo for this map, but the the money and the keys it just doesn't make sense because what i would do is i would load in with 40 to sixty thousand dollars i would go hit zoo right away which by the way is a hot spot so that's ridiculous then right after that i would just go use whatever keys i had in my inventory that i grabbed and go grab the rest of the money if i needed it this was dumb because you don't want to traverse the map while doing this the reason we're picking vondel is because to be honest no one usually takes final exfil on this map there was only one other time that a team was at final exfil when i was there and i killed them but then i missed the chopper which was very devastating but i'll, I'll explain that in a second on why i missed the chopper but if i were you i would now what do what i did at the end here is i would just bring in a hundred thousand dollars and going after all three hunt contracts that spawn on vondel now that is why I didn't bring in a hundred thousand dollars and I only brought say 40 to 60 is because I felt like, oh, there's less of a chance to get for me to get hunted. Spoiler alert. There isn't you bring in 40,000 or a hundred thousand. It's going to trigger that hunt probably on you. So just go after the hunt contracts themselves and bring in that hundred thousand already. So you don't have to go into these, um, high traffic areas with a lot of AI in them. And you know, Vondel Vondel is filled with ai that is unfair like let's be honest they are they are sharpshooters so what i did was i always go after the hunt contracts and for some reason i noticed two always spawn near each other so i'd go after those two first and then i'd cancel them and then i'd go after the third one and cancel that one if you do find yourself though being hunted which happened a good chunk of time here I would always go to the castle because there's so many nooks and crannies and rooms you can be in. People tend to just drive themselves nuts and try to go inside the castle, look at every single area. The place that I would hide is just below this walkway and just behind this pillar. There was a team that hunted me three separate times in the same match and I just hid behind this pillar and they never found me. It's actually a pretty good hiding spot. I really, I, I think it was really great. Uh, I did have the scuba mask on me though. So if they did find me, I can just go under the water and then scurry away. But I'm t I like this spot. This spot was very nice. Something I've never noticed before until I started doing this, this mission or sorry, this passive upgrade is I didn't notice that some exfils, final exfils, give you like a 60 second timer, like this one does right here. And sometimes you only get like a tech 10 second timer. And it all depends on when the final uh, of the main three exfils gets swallowed up. It's actually pretty interesting how you have to be prepared on where to go as soon as possible sometimes, because when it, you only have that tech and second timer, that means you roughly have about 30 seconds to get to there once it says where the final exfil is that if that makes sense i've never noticed that about final exfils maybe it's just vondel 
I have to check that on a Sheikah Island. But in Al Nazra, it definitely gives you like 76 seconds or 80 seconds. On Vondel, you either get like a 60 second timer, heads up where it's going to be, you have time to drive to it, all that stuff. And sometimes you get like 20 seconds, then a 10 second timer, and you better be on the ball. Also, don't take for granted the AI that's on Vondel. And by the way, I got killed by the pyro going to Final Xville. That's right. I was up in this building just hanging out and I was like, okay, I, you know what? There is a lot of AI over there, but it's okay. The pyro, I guess someone died to him and they opened up city hall where he was and he just wandered in the street and he got me. Like what are the chances of that? Right? So I do want to say this a, after you finish all the hunt contracts or they're not there anymore, someone else got them just chill you can chill all you want you can just go uh, if i were you i would go uh somewhere above the buildings just on the rooftops hang out don't worry don't like if someone calls you a camper or whatever you're just hanging out you're not trying to kill anyone or surprise anyone you're just trying to waste time so you can get to final xville and the safest way to do that is just by staying put because the ai are insane i'm telling you guys when it comes to the final xville you got to be careful because even I died on Final Xville just trying to rush to it because I only had that 10 second timer, like I said. So be careful. Now, what I will show you next is the actual timer, like how much time you actually save here. It's 26 seconds you're almost saving almost 26 seconds you know 25 in a bit that is insane if that's not enough for me to talk you into at least trying this i don't know what is like it only takes 30 seconds now for the chopper to get to you even less if you're near there and you jump on early it's awesome i it's it's so worth to do this but i don't want to come across also with this video being like all you got to do is bring in a hundred thousand dollars and you can do it like it's a lot harder than that. I get that. But if you do have some extra cash lying around in your wallet and you're like, you know what? I just want to give her a go, you know, here and there do it. Like you don't have to do it all at once, right? You can just pepper in a couple of these tries here and there when you have excess money and just, you know, slowly, but surely complete this. It's I, I can't say enough. It's super worth it. You guys. And if you have any questions about, you know, my loadout, anything like that, Hey, Put it in the comments down below i'll be answering all the questions down there also if you did end up enjoying this video hey subscribe to the channel it's free for you guys it does mean the world to me uh oh we got huey here let me just quickly show you huey oh no he doesn't want to come and also i do stream four days a week on twitch.tv slash uh tuesday to friday starting at 8 a.m pacific standard time i hope you guys come by hang out and maybe then you can see my cute little dog huey so until then i'll talk to you later